Hey guys, before we get into the new story time, I do want to tell you guys to go follow the new Instagram for convention reviews. It's the ACR crew. You can see it on the screen. Please go follow that. This is the official Instagram for all things convention reviews. It's run by me and the rest of the crew. Anybody in the crew can post on it at any time. It's definitely the best way to keep up with what we're doing and where we're going. Also, I'm going to be in the Dells in Wisconsin for the next week leading up to DaishoCon. I'm going to be vlogging that entire awesome adventure. going to be doing a lot of really fun things. If you go to the description of this video, the top link is a link to my travel channel. Go over there, subscribe to that. That's where all that's going to be posted. And that's it. Let's get to this story time. Sup, guys. Welcome back to Convention Story Time. This time, we are talking about something that happened at Dragon Con, which was a bit of a scare. And you can actually, like, watch this happen for yourself in the vlogs. So if you'd rather go watch that, I don't remember when it is. It's like, uh, the s I'm going to guess it's the second to last vlog. Or the last vlog for Dragon Con. It's one of those two when it happens. Because it was near the end of the trip. But a little build up. We've been there like all weekend. Super excited because uh, this is Dragon Con. This has been my dream con for so long. I know like so many other people who, you know, it's their dream con. And it honestly, it was just crazy to finally be there and see all these locations. And see all these people that you've seen for so long online and like, you've never actually experienced it. it. It's magical, and you should really go to Dragon Con. I highly recommend it. But this isn't about how awesome Dragon Con is. We were recording, obviously, as we always do, and Drew has a bag that he carries around with him. You know, Drew, Drewby Doo, my friend and crewmate, if you don't know who he is, he also has a channel called Drewby Doo. You can look it up if you're not subscribed to him, but he does music videos. And we were both recording for our music videos at the con. So Drew walks around with this bag that he like, I'm not sure what all he keeps in there, but I think he's got like maybe a lens in there and like, I don't know, other things that are important. Um, I mean, he was holding his camera, so his camera wasn't in there, but he had a few things and we're out recording. It's getting late in the day. We are, our hotel's not in the Dragon Con area, like it's in a different part of Atlanta, so we have to take the MARTA over like three stops to get to where our hotel is, and so once we go there, like, I mean, we can come back using the MARTA, but it's it's not like we just go down from our room and there's, you know, the con. We have to make our way over. So we're recording at the Hilton. If you know anything about Dragon Con, you know that it's split up into tons of different locations. I think there's like seven different locations in all, something like that. And we are currently at the Hilton, which is like the furthest away. It's like one of the furthest out of the way hotels, like especially of the main hotels, the main hotels for Dragon Con. There's a few, but I mean, the ones that like really everyone goes to are the Hilton, the Marriott, and the Hyatt. And uh, the Hilton is the first, furthest away for us, at least from where we get off the people mover. So we are at the Hilton and we're out on this stair area, the step area, recording people outside. And while we're doing that, I think Tea Dragon comes up and Carlos and a few other people. Like it was just a few YouTubers and then a few other people we were talking to and some cosplayers that we just talked to for a while. We talked for like, I don't know, 15, maybe 20 minutes, just about YouTube stuff and con stuff and like what's going on. And in that time, Drew had set his bag down. Well, he had set it down to record a cosplayer. And while he was recording the cosplayer, that's when everybody came up and we started talking. So he forgot that his bag was sitting there. So we do our whole talk, we finish, and then we leave. And we're like, all right, it's time to go get dinner. We're going to head back, take the Marta, get back to our hotel, get dinner. And we might not even be back to Dragon Con. Like that might be it for us for the whole weekend. So we go back and like as soon as we get there and we get in the room drew's like dude i don't have my bag and i'm like what because i have done this now twice i left my bag sitting outside at uh matsuri con and you can see that in the vlog you see me freak out and turn and run to go find my bag because it had my keys it had my everything in it like if i lost it i was stranded in columbus 
And then I also lost my bag at Dragon Con earlier that weekend. I left it upstairs. Luckily, our friends were still there, but I had no idea I left it. We have like a bag problem in this group, and it's going to get us at some point. But it might have got Drew here. We weren't sure. So we, I'm like, dude, we got to go back. I know it's going to take forever, but we have to go back. So we quickly get back to the Marta. We wait, it, like the wait felt forever. We get on, but we're like, we're chill. Cause you know, like whatever happens, happens. You know, if the bag's gone, the bag's gone. There's nothing we can do about it. We're hopeful, but I mean, we don't know. So we get off the Marta and we, that's when we're in like action mode. Cause by waiting to get on the Marta, there's nothing you can do. We just have to wait. Once we get off, we're like moving and we get to the Hilton as quickly as we can. As soon as we get there, another YouTuber from the aficionados notices us and I'm like, What's up, man? I don't need to be rude or anything, but he might have, like, had his bag stolen, so we have really got to go, and luckily, we're almost there. We get over there, and the badge is sitting right there. I mean, it was in an area that there weren't a lot of people there. Like, I mean, it's not surprising that it was still there, but if it was, like, any other area of the con, I bet you it would have been gone, or something would have at least been taken out of it. He checks it. Everything's inside of it. It worked out perfectly. Like, it couldn't have been better. And so we talked to the other YouTuber for a little bit and then we're like, yeah, we got to go. Our friends are waiting on us so we can go get food. And we, we were just shocked. Like, I really thought that this bag was probably gone. Like, I didn't want to say anything. Well, I, I did. I was like, it's likely that the bag is not there. And we both knew that. But it was, it was very surprising that it was. And I don't know if that's indicative of that. Like, we can just we were, we were very lucky or like that we could just trust the people around there. People surely saw that bag, but I don't know. I know there are thieves out there. I just know it's not in my nature. Like if I see a bag, I just go touch it and take people's stuff. But I totally know there are as Drew's had his stuff stolen from him before, like right out from under him when we were at Monster Recon last year. So it happens, but let me know in the comments, guys, have you had any experiences with your stuff being stolen or specifically in this case your bag being stolen or uh well it wasn't stolen but like leaving it somewhere and having that scare and having that experience of having to go back and just thinking like all my stuff is gone like it's probably not there and then either it not being there or you get lucky like we did and it's just sitting right there let me know in the comments below thanks for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video